Good evening, everybody. Tonight is going to be the final night that we are using StreamYard for the show. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, everything goes without much lag. Uh, looking forward to the show. We have Brian Mackey here tonight with us. BMAC Aerial Visuals, you probably know him by, and uh, he's a Houston boy. Uh, rolls with some real talent. So let's get the show started. And good evening, United States Drone Society. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Chris, how are you? You're muted. Whoops. Oh, I'm okay. just getting in, getting a little festive again. Yeah. Get week. ready for the holiday season. Yeah, I got to buy a new tree. So I got to go and uh, go online and get that because uh, all the trees at Walmart and Target are either gone or too expensive. So yeah, so as that intro was playing, by the way, I see in the head shake, we still getting that lag issue. So uh, you know, uh we're switching to EV Mux. Uh that will be the uh next service that we're using for the show and it'll start next week. I'm gonna be uh testing the live stream, I'm gonna be testing out the features. So if you see me going live during the week and you want to join in, go right ahead. I'm just going on a test so you can come on, we can show some videos and just, you know, test all the different functions of it. So if you want to get subscribed, hit that notification bell or ask me when I'm going live and I'll let you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll be saying goodbye to StreamYard and hopefully it'll be better. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, yeah, let's go with something that might be more reliable. When I, I guess I'm not too sure yet. haven't seen it, but I was also thinking um, if we're going to make it fresh, um, do you have any plans of making a different intro video? You know. Oh, I know you're itching for a new intro video. Yeah, I, know mean, parts, I really like. I really like this video. Um, I like the song. I think the song fits for the show, so maybe I could use the same song and work on something new. Uh, well, possibly. You have a lot of you have a lot of footage just sitting on deck that is just getting yeah. dusty. You know. Well, it's not getting dusty. It's just it's hard to find time because, uh, I, you know, there's a lot going on, especially now to the holiday. So, uh, you know, I stretch myself thin in a lot of areas. I wish I'd stretch myself thin around the waist, but I do it in everything else but that. So, you know, okay. All right. But, you know, let's uh, get the show going. Let's say hi to the chat and we'll get more into the changes as we go through tonight. And um, my wife was first. Hey, Ash. My number one supporter. And we got Brian in the house, BMAC Aerial Visuals. He's going to be our featured guest tonight. He's uh, in the back room. Nice to see you, Brian. Mm -hmm. We got Don. How you doing? I, I don't think he's here. He's just popped in to leave a like. I appreciate it. Thank you, Don. Uh, Don's been working and got a new job. Uh, happy for him. I hope everything's going well. Uh, Warren, how you doing, brother? 
Hey, Warren, everything is rigged with him. <laughs> and we got Jim in the house. He's in the back. He'll be joining us for open chat. Hey, Jim, he's waving back there. I see him. <laughs> and we got Bud in the house. How you doing, Bud? Joining us in the back. Hey, Bud, as well, waving. Gave us a thumbs yeah. up. And we got the rock star in the house. How you doing, Steve? Thanks, uh, Steve. You know, I I reached out to Steve uh, earlier to discuss what we were going to talk about for the manual moment tonight. Uh, tonight on the agenda for the manual moment, we'll be discussing uh, how to um, adjust when your cam when your drone has a fixed aperture. So we'll get into that later. How you doing, Jeff? Glad hey, to have you here. And uh, Gio, how you doing? I believe this is, I've never actually found out if they were married, but I'm pretty sure this is Steve's wife. Mm -hmm. um, they're the same last name, so I'm 99.100% sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, glad to have you here. Gave you a wrench. Appreciate having you. And we got Angie in the house. How you doing, Angie? Angie, always here. And we got Dusty, East Coast Thrills. How you doing? Hey, buddy. Make sure we don't miss anyone. We got Jeff Norman. How you doing, Jeff? Glad to have you here. Hey, Jeff. How was going? And we have Bill Walton. How you doing, Bill? Thanks for being here. Hey, Bill. And Mike Pinzone. How you doing, uh, hey, Mike? Is it Pinzoni or Pinzone? Uh, is I'm I'm not sure. So if I slaughter, I'm sorry. But I always say Pinzone, but it might be Pinzoni. So let me know. <laughs> We got Alex in the house. How you doing, Alex? Yeah, speaking of Alex, he's been putting out a lot of content this week. Yeah. Uh, be sure to go check out his Facebook page. I mean, he's, he's, if you're not on, I mean, then you won't see. But I've been seeing his stuff, like, just constantly all week, so. Okay, job, so he Alex. did. He said the E is pronounced, by the way. And, yeah, um, I, I wish me and Alex could get together to fly more. He's got a great yard for it, too. Uh, at his house, really great spot to fly from. I'd love to get over there more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Where do we leave off? All right. And we got John Flynn in the house. How you doing, John? Hey, John. Yeah. Let me see. Peter Carroll, how you doing? Hello, Peter. Thanks for being here. I gave you a wrench. And we got Dre. How you doing? Recovery One Drone. Hey. Was our last week's uh, featured guest? Yeah, and we have uh, Chris here. Hello, how you doing? That's not me, but <laughs> hello, Chris. And we have Exiled PVP. Now uh, he messaged me and told me who he was, and I forget who he said it was. Um, but this is us, uh, uh, someone I know. I just forget who he said it was. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to drop it in the chat, let me know. Yeah, I got a hello. message from him after the show. Look who else is in the house. We got Jack Rabbit Jack FPV. Rabbit. How you doing? Oh, and I almost forgot. We got Brian, Waypoint New England. How you doing? Um, Jeff, you asked me if I have a StreamYard link. Uh, Nightbot will be sharing the link to StreamYard every five minutes or so. Uh, so you, uh, it'll come up. And let me see who oh, don't miss anybody. Through eight drone zone. How you doing, David? Glad hey, to Dave. have you here. And Daryl, how you doing? W Drones. Chris says, hey, Wedge, I miss you in our channel. I'm not sure what channel I'm missing. Uh, I probably miss a lot because I'm usually looking at stuff in the group. Uh, I make sure to check everything out that's shared uh, in the group. So if you have something that you want me to see and I, I'm not seeing it, just message it to me. I apologize. I just... I spend a lot of time on YouTube, and I'll miss it if it's not, like, shared with me sometimes. So let me know. Uh, let me see. What we, got. we have a Facebook user. How you doing? Hello. Glad to have you here. And we got Al in the house. How you doing, Al? South Florida Drone Flyers. Hey, Al. And Justin's in the house. How you doing, Justin? Uh, new Infinity Gaming. Oh, uh, He did a tutorial if you want to learn how to do that text. Check out his channel. We got Mickey Moo. Yeah, there we go. Mickey Moo, how you doing? Sorry, just trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Yeah. 
once the show starts that uh the chat goes crazy how you doing face maybe the same one if not how you doing glad to have you here uh if you're a facebook user and you want to um share your name grant stream you had the permission it'll share your name and your profile photo so we can share it here and uh you know recognize you in the chat up to you or you could come over to youtube and you can chat in the youtube chat also um and autistic reacts how you doing I was caught fire, lost everything, currently homeless, but I still try to find a way to come to see the show. I well, think this uh, is my cousin. This is my cousin, yeah. Beans. Uh, Jay, how you doing? Uh, if that's you, my, my cousin lost his house in the fire recently, and uh, I, I think this might be him, so I uh, hope everything's all right. Uh, send me a message. Uh, you changed your name. And Stephen Drones, how you doing, Steve? Glad hey, to Steve. Have you here. Hey, Andrew, how you doing? Glad to have you here. What's up, Andrew? We got Ron in the house. How you doing, Ron? Hello, Ron. And we got Matt in the house. How you doing, Matt? Hey, Matt. Nice to see you. Yeah. We got Cool Cat. We only got through the names. We have almost 50 people here. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much. We got Cool Cat in the house. How you doing? Just want to make yeah. sure we don't miss anybody. I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Uh, we have Randy Props. How you doing, Randy? Thanks for being here, brother. Hey, Randy. We got Dominic. He's in the back. He'll be joining us for open chat. And you know, always, always dependable in the drone in uh, the drone industry and in, uh, channels, the YouTube. He's very dependable. Probably one of the most dependable people I've seen in the community. Drone meetup. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Is that meetup or me up? Drone me up. Drone me up. Me up. I said meet up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. We got Nathan Schrockenhaus. How you doing, Nathan? Glad to have you. Nathan. Captain Joe's in the house. Hey, Captain Joe. Yeah, and the E is pronounced. Thank you so much. Glad to know. I'll probably still mess it up, and I apologize. It's not on purpose. So if I do, forgive me ahead of time, okay? Um, Hot Rod in Daytona, how you doing? Glad to have you here. And Mark R. White. How you doing, Mark? Mark. Uh, we got TJ in the house. How you doing, TJ? I've seen him very busy on the... On social media this week yeah people and flying yeah and jerry bow was in the house i believe i saw your name go by without a wrench i'll get you a wrench uh while i'm playing sunday spectacular just give me a minute please hey jerry get you that wrench wow that's crazy how much chat is here already yeah we're a, a few minutes back. Said, oh it's <laughs> oh it's mark mark sullivan is ex exiled fpv that's mark sullivan thank you so much Yeah, yeah, I got a message from him I seen after the show. I didn't know who it was during the show. Oh, Lisa's here. Yeah, how you doing, Lisa? We got Johnny Drone Flyer in the house. How you doing, Johnny? Hey, Johnny. Wow, this is crazy. This chat's not ending. Uh, we're still a few minutes back looking through the chat. <laughs> All right, so we have another Facebook user. Says, hello, everyone. How you doing? Glad to have you here. Nice to see you. I don't. I don't think we're missing anyone. I think we got everybody. I'm just, it's moving so fast. Yeah. Yep. We're caught. Yeah, it looks like we got everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate that. Uh, That's just, it's absolutely insane. I'm going to bring up 51, uh, people. Yeah. 51 people watching. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. All right. You want to remove that chat? We're going to do Sunday Spectacular now. Appreciate everyone being here. And let's get.
Ron, Ron, man, great stuff, great stuff. Congratulations. Uh, you're muted again. See, now you're doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Uh, well, we should fix that when we switch over to EV Mux because my clips can be bigger and they can be in 1080p instead of uh, shrunk down to 720. So it should be better. How are you doing, Keith? Um, uh, I've got a question was, about EV Mux, too. Yeah. You know now if you can actually – because because we're on um, – Streamyard. If we want to actually chat, we have to have a pop-up chat from YouTube. Yep. Now, is there going to be a way to actually interact with the chat while we're on EV Mux? Yeah, and uh, you don't actually have to use YouTube pop-out chat to chat. You can go right to the chat tab and ch and chat. But see, here's the thing: you are uh, you're part of my team, so if you chat, you're going to chat as me. Right. See, that's but, what yes. I was. That's what I meant is like we'll have a dedicated chat for us where we don't have to go to and do that instead. So oh, we'll test that all out. It'll all it's all gonna I haven't used it yet. I've just been watching tutorial videos. So, you know, we'll definitely get to it. And Jerry Bauer, I was looking for your chat to give you a wrench. I can't find it. So if you could just uh type again in the chat uh so I can see uh your name and give you a wrench, I'll do so. But yeah, uh with that, I'm gonna bring in our feature guest today, and our feature guest <laughs> is all of Houston, Texas. How you doing, Brian? Hello. Uh, am, am I am I muted? No, oh, you're good. Okay, just want to make sure. Just want to make sure I'm not muted. Um, Paul, I'd first of all thank you for having me on, and I'd like to apologize for something. I never get to see your show live because usually on a Sunday night at this time I'm either eating or flying, mostly flying. Yeah. Sunday night is my favorite night to fly. Yeah, there's no need to apologize. I was actually well aware of that because I always try to get Steve Hyde on the show. And uh, oh, yeah. he's telling me how they go out every Sunday pretty much. And, you know, it's understandable. It's a good day to go out. And, uh, that you know, that's one of the things we're going to touch on tonight is the relationship you guys have out there in Houston. Because you guys have a team of what I would call the power hitters. And when it comes to the photography and in the drone groups, Houston, really, you guys have some hard hitters out there. You guys are, it's like you well, guys are out there in, in class is what you're doing. Credit where credit due. That, a lot of that is Steve Hyde getting us all together. And uh, another guy named Bionic FPV. Uh, they're just really good at getting everybody out. And, you know, we, we talk and share stuff and it works out pretty good. Yeah. So uh, I know a lot of people know you. For those that don't know you, why don't you uh, introduce yourself and let everyone know what you fly? Uh, and also you can mention, too, uh, you're not just a drone photographer. You also are uh, experienced with uh, handheld manual photography. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been doing this now since about November 2017. I had a Hollystone HS-130, which I had several of them, actually, because they kept sending me more because they, they would break. <laughs> Which was a good thing, but uh, now a good friend of mine got me interested in a spark in April of 2018, and the rest is history. Right now, I'm flying uh, the Mini 4 Pro endlessly. I love that drone. Um, Avada, DJI FPV, Autel Evo Lite Plus, and the DJI Air 2S is still my go-to. Mm. I still have Mavic Air 2, but I... I use it to attach my Insta360 across it so I can take some really weird stuff. It's not good for it, man, because you sh those motors scream when that thing is on there. So Yeah. 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 Now, um, with you guys getting together every Sunday, do you guys have, like, themed visits? Do you guys get together and you say, hey, yeah. today we're going to try of it's, A lot of it's impromptu. You know, we'll talk um, in our Facebook group and just say, hey, is anybody going out tonight or? I'll say, hey, guys, I'm going to be at so-and-so point if y'all are going to be out here and one or two show up, none show up, all show up. It just, you never know. You know, it's just kind of. Yeah. Now, the other thing is uh, we've got a Facebook group here, and it's called Houston Drones here in Houston. It's got 6,000 members. Oh, and wow. we try to have monthly meetings, but and we do try to change locations um, every time. We've changed locations every time, but it's kind of hard to get everybody uh on board we usually though at each meeting have had anywhere from 40 to 100 people at any given time which makes for some really scary drone flying <laughs> <I Yeah. bet. laughs> 
The last one was over up here on Lake Conroe that was maybe 100 feet across. And I'm just going, well, we got a window here that ain't too big, but I'm going to try to put up. <laughs> yeah, it gets a little it. scary. It's, that's why I think, like, if you're going to go up there and, you know, it'd be nice to have obstacle avoidance on every drone, you know. just well, even you know. Ob Obstacle avoidance is only going to do you so good when it comes to other drones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but something else you mentioned, too, about handhelds. Um, so when I started making videos on YouTube, um, my wife, who is my best critic, said, you know, these are great, but you're boring me to tears. You've got to do something else. So yeah. I started uh, using GoPros and Insta360s and just anything, I, my, my, my cell phone, you know, anything I could find, just to throw in some ground perspective. And it does help, you yeah. know, because... Um, and having a big white dog helps too. I've noticed he's doing pretty good on his channel. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I try to do too, is that's a good thing to touch on is when I go out and, and I fly and I'm getting video, I like to um, try different things that aren't normal. I'll bring the drone to a certain position and I'll lock onto a target and bring it to another position that seems kind of, and I'll, just watching on the screen, how the scene develops uh, can be a good indication where you want to continue. Okay. This is looking so good like this. Let's try another angle. Um, and it's, it's about doing, you know, unique things. And that brings us to, you know, you created a, a featured video to show tonight. Um, it's a little bit longer than we normally do. We usually do about a four minute, three to four minute video. You have about a five, I think five, five and a half minute video, but, um, you look back at that down for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, no, no, it's perfectly fine. You know, uh, I like to see content like this because it kind of shows, uh, what you've been doing over the last six years. Uh, so I'm going to share the video. I'm going to allow you to narrate it. You can tell us anything that you want to tell us about it. Uh, anything at all. You can just narrate however you like. Okay. That's a biblical verse, so please don't hurt me. Oh, the spark. This was my first outing, too, with the spark. And I said, ooh, train. <laughs> Got to get the train. When I say outing, I could not wait to get it on the road. And this was yeah. my second spot. I love flying Galveston. Yeah. Now I have, have to ask everybody in the chat, how's the audio? Can you hear the video well enough? And, and uh, yeah. the panel, can you hear our chat glitch? Yeah. And I have no idea who that guy is. And yeah, like everyone else, you know, you worry about flying over water. The more you do it, you don't even think about it after a while. Yeah. You gotta oh, trust cool. the technology and insurance. Trust the technology and have insurance. Yeah, yes. This is my, without a doubt, my favorite thing to do with a drone. I haven't done it in two years. I'm getting ready to, hopefully next Sunday. I don't know, I'll see. Depends on the weather. Froggy. My buddy Fred, who I've managed to corrupt with drones. <laughs> Fred has his own YouTube channel. He doesn't post much. Yeah. Everybody yeah. dissed the hotel, but this shot right here, I just it was right around Christmas time, too, in 2019. I said, yeah, I don't think I could do this with a DJI product. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is when it was you know, still it's... in its book before they moved it. And it's cool that you showed that, uh, you know, ship because we, we discussed it before the show started. That an interesting fact about you is that you were the very first person to win Sunday Spectacular on the US PS show. You were the first win, and it was a battleship coming to the back. Yeah. I might have, I might, it was so long ago, I might have, I think I do vaguely remember that. Yeah. Another, another, yeah, sequel. Kind of like, yeah. DJI Mini SE. Yeah, just got rid of that so I can get the Mini 4 Pro. I still have mine, except it was completely trashed. That is, that is a great drone for the money. Oh, yeah. It, it, still, it still could hold up today. And when the wind doesn't blow, the tiny hawk is still fun. There's my buddy Steve and Judah and Jesus. This is, this is the gun club thing was before Houston Drone. Everybody's a little uncomfortable with that. And there is a story behind that. But I may or may not get into it.
and no, we're not armed. <laughs> well, I'm oh, just curious, by the way. I was the one that gave T5 his nickname Rock Cloud. Do you guys call him Rock Cloud when you're out there flying? I, I've, I've messed with him a few times, but I don't want to uh, piss him off in that way. Uh, maybe he likes it. I don't know. He can, He's in the chat, so I know he's hearing all that. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Jerry, thank you. How's doing, Jerry? We got Bill Corbino. There's a bunch of drones flying around there. Yeah. This is that dock I was mentioning. <laughs> this is our first piece of drone. See that? that was nice. Uh, Lee Bessing made it to this one. He's in here. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Lee got married. Yes, he did. He did yeah. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations to Lee and his yeah, wife. Congrats. Looks so happy. I was actually going to bring that up later on in the show, but you brought it up. So yeah, congratulations to Lee. See, this is one of the parts I thought, oh, it looks good, but I could live without it. I was going to cut this down. And it's just a BGI FTV crew in the store. There he is. Hey, Lee. Hey, Lee. Congratulations. Hey, Lee. Yeah, congrats, man. Jerry Frank. How you doing, Jerry? We got Brett in the house, too. How you doing, Lambo? Lambo, hey. Now, is this a dolly zoom you're doing right here? That's what it looks like, right? Um, probably so. That's one of my favorite tricks I like to do. This is the picture, by the way, oh, right here. This cool. is the picture here, and this is up to that one Sunday spectacular. Same day they, finally, they finally did figure out a permanent home for the battle ship, at least. I'm very happy. It's kind of playing out. That's a great little clip there. Anyway. And Angie. Oh, it's great. Did you just say that was the NG? Awesome. Wish I could do that. Not the drone. Yeah, does. thank you so much for sharing that with us. Now, I know that you have the video set to unlisted when I do the timestamps after the show. Is it okay if I link to that video in there? Yeah, no problem. I'll probably put it up. Oh, that's another thing, yeah. too. You know, I've been flying the Mini 4 Pro now for, what, two months, is it? And it's just so easy to use. It's like, okay, take it out of bag. It's up. It's in the air. And I'm taking yeah. all this video, and I'm not posting anything. Yeah. I've got stuff that's like, well, I went to Kima and never did anything with that, and I went here and never did that. So, yeah, there'll be a lot of stuff coming eventually. Yeah, and uh, speaking yeah. of marriage, by the way, we just congratulated Lee and his wife. I believe that on um, November 20th, you and your wife celebrated 30 years marriage. Yep, Congratulations. Yep. Congratulations to you. Yeah, yeah very good. I've got the yeah. scars to prove it. Yeah. Oh. So uh, I like to create a question for each uh, guest. It's individual. I kind of make it uh, about you and customize it for just you. And uh, I, I want to ask you, when comparing your experiences in both drone photography and manual handheld photography, Excluding the enjoyment that you get from flying the drone, what style of photography do you find more fulfilling and enjoyable overall? Um, it's kind of hard to say. Damn, bud, forty-three and you're again. Still you got to separate <laughs> separate the flying, separate the flying from the factor here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you What do you prefer more? Um, I get more versatility out of my mirrorless Sony mirrorless camera. Okay. Once I get it into post. You know, but it does. It's not real good at video, so it's kind of a balance. Because whenever I'm in the air, I'll be flying, and my video is constantly running. But I'll say I'll see something. Oh, stop the video, take the picture. You know, it, it just depends. But for, for the reward I get over what I can do with a photo, yeah, I'm sorry, the mirrorless cameras still still win hands down. Yeah, and, uh, I really have to work at some of the photos. From the drone stuff um i will say one thing though 
on the Mini 4 Pro, everybody poo poos the quad, the 48 megapixel quad bear 4 stuff. But I found out when you use the raw image of that of that format, I had a photo that I took of sunset in downtown Houston, and you could barely see the dot of the sun. I blew it up without noise, without distortion, 90%, and it came clue through clear. Okay. You know, it yeah. took Topaz, it took Lightroom to do it all, but, you know, it's a lot more work to get the same thing that I might have been able to get out of a good mirrorless camera. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, back in my early days of the drone community, uh, when I started seeing your photos around in group, you were uh, quite um, popular for posting photos where you really messed around with the colors. You changed the colors and made them really I love, wacky. I love doing that. Yeah, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was nice, and I thought it made for good commentary <laughs> when people were talking about it during uh, shows. But uh, I have to ask you, how come you don't do that anymore? I don't see you post any more of that content. A lot of times, <clears throat> I don't like to wear things out, but a lot of times, like in a very short video I just did, uh, it was just a sunset shot over my backyard. I did that. I said, you know, and, I, and it was simple stuff. I took it from black and white to a slate to the full color, you know, and did that. And it was maybe a minute and a half of video, you yeah. know, and, and I'll, I'll start doing stuff. You know, it, I was doing that to, to make content. And I found that, if I spend up, for instance, I was out with uh, Angela Anderson uh, back in early November in the Galveston for just three hours. I still haven't posted all the content there. I could make 20 shorts of stuff that nobody has seen just from that three hours. You know, yeah. and it's just a matter of me get, becoming unlazy, which I am at the moment, and, and doing it, you know. Because shorts are a good way to, to really get your channel going, I've noticed, you know which mine doesn't really do, but because I have a bad habit of getting off or losing interest in YouTube for like months at a time. And YouTube doesn't like it when you do that to them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you, YouTube and their algorithm can be very frustrating uh, for a lot of people. Um, I just kind of rolled with uh, things and let it be what it was. And I, you know, I, gotta... I, I don't pay attention. To, like I know that I like talking about analytics, uh, like Tammy Jean, we talked about, you know, her doing her, uh, analytics show or something but that's something that interests me but i don't incorporate it into my channel growth anymore it just let it be what it is by the way we hit 60 viewers that's incredible thank you so much everybody yeah i know i was just gonna say that yeah and wait so a minute, I, wait, wait, wait a minute that can't be right. just four likes likes what are y'all's thumbs broken or something what's the deal no um, it'll fit, it'll update uh, it'll fix at some point if you refresh okay. it or later there's more than than that there no, uh, i did, I did. Uh, want to congratulate you too paul on that i saw three thousand subs on that channel of yours and i'm just going wow because you yeah, haven't been doing it for what a year it's a little over a year now yeah i did have i did have some help from uh, from uh jaylen uh jaylen has a show a growth stream um it did uh it didn't just generate subscribers it generated views and activity there were comments views and activity um so that helped out a lot um so, but I appreciate everybody who watches my videos. I've never really had, I had one thing go, I wouldn't call it viral, but I got like 6,000 views on Instagram. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. Like it was just a, it was a quick video. It was, uh, I know what it was. It was my teaser trailer for my, uh, Lake, uh, not Lake George for my, um, cliff walk video. I did a cliff walk video and I did a, a teaser trailer and that went out and it got like six, 7,000 views. I, I was like, wow, that's really fast. But, um. Yeah, yeah, that was I, just a short, right? Yeah. But for the most part, this show isn't I, I don't use this show as a platform to really promote myself. I like people to be subscribed, but I like to use it as a platform to kind of showcase the community. Um, because you know, the you know, I'm sure that just like you, there's a, a massive uh percentage of this community that just uh needs to be seen and their content needs to be shown and uh maybe they're lost in a in a pile of posts. Well, we don't want that here. We want everyone to be seen, you know? You know, and, and the thing about it is, you know, and I've there's a bunch of uh, people here in the chat. I can tell they're just starting on YouTube. It It's going to take a while, you know, but the thing about it is what you want to do is is keep at, at the uh, craft because, you know, I was the same way five years ago. It's like, you know, what do I do? What do, You know, okay, what started me, YouTube had this thing said, okay, you're a creator now. I said, mm -hmm. get out of here. 
but it, you know, it kind of sunk in and in a way you are. And after a while you figure out what, what does work or what you're comfortable with, you know, and, and I don't produce stuff. I really, I hate to say it. I produce stuff that I like, you know, or my wife, yeah. I don't worry about really whether it gets seen or not. You know, it's nice if it does, but I hate to say it, but I'll spend time looking at my own videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and I, I do too. And that's my criteria for releasing my content. It's not about what I think other people right, are gonna right. like. If I like it, I know that the people that like my content are gonna like it because it's in my style. You know, yeah. the people that watch my content like my style, and uh when they see it, they, you know, you can tell you can see the different people's styles. I know when I watch a Chris video, an MB Jones video, I know that's it. I don't have to see his name there. I know that's a Chris video because he's got his own style, mm. you know. Uh, and there are people out there like that. Um but with that, we're going to bring some people in now for our uh, open chat segment. Uh, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to have this, you know, uh, interview. And we're going to bring, I'll bring them in in the, in the order in which they arrived. And Jim was first today. How you doing, Jim? I'm trying to get my, there we go. Oh, that's not too bad. There he is. Bad camera. But I'm doing good. How you all doing? Good, good. Excellent. We have Dominic. He joined us Hi. next. How you doing, Dominic? Yeah, good evening. Hey, Dom from Down Under. And we got oh, Bud. Yeah. Bud's in the house. How you doing, uh, Bud? Hey, Bud? Doing good. Good show. Still wearing the Packers uniform. We have Jeff Norman. How you doing, Jeff? Jeff, yeah, good to see hey, you. Jeff. We got Hot Rod in Daytona. How you doing, Rod? How good. You What's up, Hot Rod? And Ken. How you doing, Ken? How's it going, guys? Yeah. Hey, 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 uh, Another Sunday night with the with the boys. Yeah. Hey, hey, Mac, you're Alice. It's <laughs> Or, or Paul I Lynn. noticed last Sunday, Rod, you made Sunday Spectacular. I, I, I think I sent you the link on Messenger, but we weren't friends. Uh, sorry, uh, not Sunday you were our content creator of the week. I don't know if you had noticed that last. Uh, oh, last I sorry. You, yeah, you yeah. know, it was making more yesterday. Um, actually, it was me and Maddie and me and Maddie and TJ. Maddie was chasing. Well, it was Nazgul chasing Nazgul yesterday. We we had a blast. That's better than right. a lot of, a lot of. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up the video file. We're going to do best of the rest. Mm. Been waiting for that. I know Ray Kelly's waiting for that, too. Everybody. Yeah. Hey, you know what's funny, that. too? I, uh, uh, Joe Fotoleo sent me. He he does. A, he does. A, was it Joe? No, it was uh, not Joe Fotoleo. Joe Leone. Um, was it Joe Fotoleo, right? That's I'm the not. same guy, yeah. It's just yeah, okay. his nickname same guy. Yeah, he does. Uh, he does a sh uh, like a series on his channel where he does his construction work, and he sends me one earlier. We're talking about the show. He's like, ah, you know, I never get to watch a show. He's like, but I really love Sunday Spectacular. I said, yeah, I know everyone does. Yeah, everyone Good does. Ray. Yeah, yeah, best of the rest. Yeah. Here so uh, if you could just everybody mute your microphones, and uh, you know, we'll bring it back when the comes back. <laughs>
Man, you guys and gals are killing it. You guys and gals kill it every single week. Every and week. That, that's inspiration right there. Yeah. It's just amazing. Every week, you pick some of the most amazing photographs. It's just. I'm not the one posting them. I'm just, you know, I'm. I know. I, I know. Yeah. It's the, 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 the group. Community. Everyone that puts it out, really, that's the reason why. And yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys bring them in, and then hey Lawrence, they're there. Yeah, not yeah, today, but you know, the green base. Up from from right? <laughs> it's okay. I'm in the lead again this week. I won last week. <laughs> My pool. How's yeah, this microphone sound, by the way? I haven't posted it's much it's because I'm finally moved in. I have actually a good background rather than the fake one. I have my microphone that has been in storage for 14 months. How's it sound? Reasonable? Good. Sounds yeah, good. Sounds, yeah, sounds, good. Good. Sounds, sounds really good. good. It, didn't, it didn't go, uh, it didn't spoil while it was in storage. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> so, yeah, why we have so many people in the chat and on the panel, I want to remind everybody that uh, this is the last week we're using StreamYard. Mm -hmm. Next week, we're using a new service. Uh, I'm going to need some time to test that throughout this week. Uh, so, I just want to remind everybody that next week, is going to be a community day. So I'm going to make a post tomorrow in the group. Uh, we'll tag everybody so you can find it. Um, we're going to share videos just like we did the last community day. So uh, you'll be able to post if you want to share a video there. Um, I'm not going to focus on doing Sunday Spectacular Best of the Rest because I need to take that time to learn uh, EV Mux and get it set up for the show uh, and hopefully make things just so much better for us. No more lag or any of that issue. So, you know, uh, we'll, we'll no get through posting. it. No posting there. Yeah. But uh, we'll be good. Uh, Chris, you're muted. <laughs> Again. He always, he always forgets. Again. And uh, Jim, you're muted also, Jim. Uh, before we get into the manual moment, uh, <laughs> Ben, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. How you been, brother? Who's that? Who? You. you oh, me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. You can. I saw him last week. I'm flying again. I'm feeling better, so uh, it's good to be out in the uh, out in the air again. And just got back yesterday. Took a bus trip to New York City. Was tempted to bring my drone, but I knew definitely that I couldn't fly it, so there was no sense of bringing it. But um, it was a beautiful day. So, yep, I'm I'm back and ready to go. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I'm so glad to have you back. And uh, I know you said you were yeah uh, he was here last week, but I, when I was watching the replay, I believe you showed up. Towards the end, we didn't really talk much. I don't. I don't think you had gotten in on the conversation too much. So I just want to stop in and see how you were doing. Yeah. No. I'm, yeah. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I saw all so your uh, okay. go ahead, Chris. Oh, I saw a lot of those pictures, Ken. Oh, from yes, from uh, New York. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Yeah, we we do a thing every uh, every year. My wife is a teacher, and her school department sponsors a trip to. Uh, to New York City, hop on a bus, they drop you off in the morning, you do what you got to do, and then they pick you up, and that's it. So, what do you cool. use for a camera for stills? That was all I used yesterday was an iPhone. Really? Have, like a gimbal for it? Or nope. You, no, nope. just just handheld, and pray to God I didn't fall down if I stood up on something. And <laughs> <laughs> they look good. They look good. <laughs> You That's did my York, job. <laughs> you did New York City the way I tell everybody. New York City is one of those places it's great to visit. I wouldn't want to live there. Oh, absolutely. No, oh, my God. Was, my friend. No, Chicago. Chicago, you don't want to go. Any of you guys come to New York, you should tell me in advance. I'll meet you there. I'll take The bad, the bad thing is, is that they, they drop us Next off right time. at Rockefeller Center, and then they pick us up a block away from Rockefeller Center. But by, by nighttime, you got like 10 million people coming down to look at the tree. So – um, it's just a pain in the butt to get through because you got so many people around, but it's oh, still, fun. It's still yeah. Fun. I've been there, I've been there when the trees up. It's yeah, interesting place. And the big cities can get dangerous when you're walking around with uh, you know, three thousand dollars worth of equipment, yeah, in the middle of the night. A street camera, baby. You You've been waiting to use that phone. for a year, <laughs> yeah. The last time you used that, Paul, was like. A year ago, when we first started the stream, you were using all those sounds, and but I, I've heard the uh, I've heard the uh, the Macho Man. A week yeah, ago. the Macho Man one's good. I like that. That's one of my favorites. Uh, so with that, we're talking about photography. So we're gonna hop in now, and we're gonna. You can't even see it in the back here, but we're gonna do a moment in manual, and um, yeah. 
Absolutely. I have one example to bring up. I was talking to Steve Hyde uh, this past week, and I was talking about uh, manual photography. And one of the things we didn't touch on last week was what to do when your drone has a fixed aperture like the Air 2S and you can't adjust the aperture and now, uh, you know, adjust your depth of field, your focus, you know, and uh, when it comes to depth in the picture. Um, and yeah. Steve Hyde was telling me that you can actually use ND filters not only to work on motion if you're trying to get a certain look. Uh, I'll give this as an example. So how he acquired this shot was he matched the speed of the Jeep with the drone so the Jeep looks like it's staying still and the keeps that shutter speed open a bit longer and that's where you get that motion from. But when you have a fixed aperture and you're you can tap on your screen to kind of focus on the area you want to get your depth. Um, but if you need to make adjustments to your lighting, he said you can use ND filters to make minor adjustments. And uh, Dominic, you have something to add to that? I was just going to say hello to Randy. Oh. Just said hello to me. All right. So uh, do we have anyone on the panel who has any tips or tricks when you're, when you're trying to shoot uh, manual photography? Yeah, go ahead, Brian, uh, with uh, locked aperture. Yeah. Yeah, shutter speed is your friend, daytime or night. But especially in daytime, you've got to have your ND filters. At night, no filters, and you can open that shutter speed to do all kinds of neat stuff. Um, yeah, that's just you know. And a lot of people, they they'll get excited because okay, well, how do I do that? And you know, it's it's right there in the settings, you know. And you think, well, I got, I'm going to lose a shot. I don't have the time. You just practice. You know, I've gotten so to where I can take ten different shots at 10 different settings in about 20, 25 seconds. You know, it's just, it's a, and I messed up a lot of them. You know, you're going to mess up the shots, but that's how you, that's just how you learn. But shutter speed, if you, don't, if you have a fixed aperture, is a great way to make up for not having, you know, the, the uh, viability of, a, of, a, of an aperture that you can open and close. I was gonna, yeah. If you really want to understand ND filters, go get I'm yourself sorry, like an... Go get yourself an ND 1000 and play with it and see what that does. And that will sort of help you better understand what those lower ND filters are doing for you. Yeah. That and sure. uh, the most, the most important thing is when you're going out and you're, and you're working with your, your, what, you know, your photography and your cameras, whatever camera it is, have fun first and foremost. Don't let it get you aggravated. Try different things and experiment with it. See what you can come up with. But, but, you know, that stress can be there when you're like, this ain't working. I don't want it like this. Uh, just relax. Don't panic. Have fun with it. Try new things. And, um, you know, you never know what you're going to get messing around with your settings. And don't be afraid to ask other people. That's why we're doing this segment. We don't want to make it this, you know, preach manual settings or any of that. We just want a quick uh, kind of crash course so everybody understands it. Go ahead, bud. Um, um, that we so have do you use time. your histogram to get an idea that you're close you know i mean no? i do i use it a little bit but i always lean towards stuff to the darker side you know the, the dark well side. we know that so he's gone that was, the dark you side. It back up in post you throw yeah. that thing into lightroom or luminar you can you can bring those colors back out if, but if you can't you can't tamp down overexposed that's the only thing. So, so better dark is not in the image yeah. at all. It's not there. You can bring something out of dark up to a point, um, and also just way. shooting whether you have a fixed aperture or not. Shooting all sorts of different exposures. I bracket almost every single picture that I take on a drone, and sometimes on cameras too, because this way you can put them all together and have the ability to make a different levels of oops, <laughs> different levels of um, HDR and without the underexposure and overexposure, just the one in the middle. I even do it with with um, with DMG files, I, with everything. You just merge them together and then decide how much do you want to make it HDR. Uh, yep. you don't want to that's, exact, it. that's, that's exactly what I do with mine. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I, I wanted to answer Justin. It said, uh, "Go, yeah, I have, um, I'm going to be going live randomly throughout the week to test out. I know there's a learning curve, and I've been learning some of it. I was on there earlier today. I'm going to try to learn. I'm going to start small. We're going to have a community day next week. Uh, I'll learn more as I go, but I want to get into the pro scenes. I really like the pro scenes and the transitions between segments. Uh, so, yeah, uh, hashtag USDS. 
in the chat for your chance to win a custom United States Drone Society coffee mug. Uh, USA only shipping. So if you don't have a USA address, I'm sorry, I can't ship it to you. Uh, if you do win and you don't have a USA address, we can roll again or you can donate it to somebody in the U.S. So, uh, you know, take a chance. Hashtag uh, USDS chat. So I'd like to come in got mine. something about the uh, manual shots with the yeah, drone and the fixed aperture. Um, normally, what I was told and what I was had learned is that you, if you're just trying to get like a regular nice shot, don't put an ND filter on it. That's true. Am I right on that? Because, I mean, you just want the full, you know, I mean, if you want to get some type of dynamic shot, yeah. You, yeah. You might ND want, filters like, are more like for effect. You know, you want right. a blur effect somewhere in that right. shot. Mm -hmm. ND filters, the way I use them is if you use one for a still shot, it's to create blur in the movement of the subject or like that one with the Jeep in the car around the subject. Exactly. But in, photog in a video, it's used to slow down the shutter speed if you want to shoot something that's going to be a, a 20, you know, 24 frames per second, you should be about a fifth of a second. And um, and by the way, the higher you are and the slower you go, the least this um, one over double frame rate really matters. People get so obsessed with it, and it's really not necessary. I've shot tons of stuff at one two hundred, two uh, one two thousandth of a second, and as long as you're high enough away and going slow, it don't matter. But if you're two hundred feet up, you can't tell the difference. And moving fast. You know, uh, Ted Nemeth believes that also. I don't get so obsessed with all the settings. Just sh capture it, and you'll deal with it later. If you, you know, if you're trying to match something for a movie, different set of rules. If you're trying to just get a good image, go out and fly. All right, with that, I'm gonna let this roll, everybody. Good luck. Whatever it turns out, it's rigged. <laughs> hey, well, I got mine last week. I'm Wait. glad I didn't win. Thank you. It arrived safely. It wasn't cracked this time. Thank you, Tammy. Awesome. And thank you. And thank you, Paul. Yeah. So, uh, Stephen Drone, send me your address on Messenger if you have Messenger. If not, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel and email me at the email address that you can find there. And uh, I'll send you out a mug this week. <laughs> rigged. <laughs> there we go. Rigged. There you go. There we go. It's all rigged. Yeah. It's all so rigged. Does anyone know? Does Steve? Does Steven Drones have a um a Facebook page? He's chatting with you now. Yeah. You should use hashtag rigged, and you're all set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <And> next week. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So listen, we're running low on time. We have five minutes left. I can't believe there's still 60 people here. This is crazy. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, that, that, that's because it's worth it to be here. That's why. A lot of good people. Yeah, yeah a lot of good people. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, go around and give everyone a chance to say what they want to say and promote what they want to promote. Um, so we're going to go right from the bottom. We'll start with you, Ken. How you doing? Hey, um, uh, not much to say. I'm back. I'm flying again uh, as long as the weather cooperates. But uh you know, use this um, use this group for inspiration, um, for help, anything. I mean, this has got to be one of the greatest groups, you know, for drones and stuff. Um, you guys inspire me every day. So just keep flying, keep shooting. If you don't like what you shoot, you delete it and shoot it again. Um, other than that, that's it. Have a great uh, week. Be safe and, um, and get in the air. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ken. And before I forget, I know Chris is probably already – Saying he's forgot again. I'm gonna do uh MB drones pick of the week. Chris, tell us about the picture. Oh, the pick of the week. Yeah, there. Well, we could have brought wow. that pick of the week in when I was gonna give my final moments, but this is uh Hillsboro um beach. Great video, by the way. Florida. Thanks, bud. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is uh just like a big area, you know, where I went and flew down there, and I, I got a lot of overexposure down there for this area. Um, but I tried to do what I could with it, and I got this as a nice big area just to make a picture out of, and I thought it looked good. Yeah, it's a great photo. Thank you so much Absolutely. for sharing it. I only brought it up because I almost forgot it again. Yeah, it wasn't um, my best, though. It was it's kind of blurry, but I liked how big it was and how expansive it showed everything. So, Well, uh, 
not only that though, the video was really good. So if you haven't seen Chris's new video, he released it early. Go check out his channel. Uh, you released a video, I believe, yesterday or the day before, also. So make sure you don't get caught up. Yeah. Yeah, it's three days. Which one is like? Where is he? <laughs> yeah. So uh, Ken, thank you so much for being here today, brother. Appreciate having you. I right. have a good week, guys. <clears throat> Why is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. And hot rod. Hey. Uh, you know, I just want to say, everybody, keep posting. It's great to go watch, uh, as I tend to put on, in my comments on most of the the videos. You know, it's great to see everybody else's part of the world. Um, it, you know, it's different than what you're flying, right? So it's always great to look and see what everybody else is flying. And then uh, I wanted to say, Paul, you forgot to ask Brian one question, which was, why did he take why did he take the helicopter out of the battle shot battleship shot? Should have left the well, helicopter in. That, right? Come on. Controversy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was that was yeah. that was great in that video. <laughs> Our, uh, anyways, Rob, we'll have a great week, having, guys. Yeah. Have have a you know great week. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Appreciate having you. And Jeff. Um. In the house, microphone is unboxed. Everything is good. Uh, shot some pictures last week, but I haven't had a chance between opening boxes and setting up my office to post anything, but I will. And just want to appreciate the company here and thank all of you guys for submitting and inspiring us to all be creative. And thank you, Paul. And the mug was great. Awesome. Awesome. I'm That's glad to have you. Yeah. Hope you have a great week. Nah, uh, glad that that mug was not broken. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the mug is broken. The other mug was fine. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for being here, Jeff. Enjoy your week. You too. And I'm going to go with Jim. Um, I don't have a whole lot to promote. Uh, everybody knows November is Mental Health Note Month. So anybody wants to talk, there's tons of people here available. Um, other than that, keep playing, have fun, stay, and bring them all home. So, go on, man. Yeah, thank you so much for being here, Jim. I appreciate having you, brother. Oh, your week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go with Bud. Hey, Bud. Hey, again, just a great show. Brian, keep doing what you're doing. Drinking. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, the sun comes out tomorrow so I can go out and try some photography because all i shoot is video i shoot for myself like you guys were talking about i enjoy watching my videos um keep on doing what you're doing and paul during the week if you see me online and you want to test send me a link and we'll try it out but thanks again for a great show brian keep doing what you're doing i'm gonna drive down to houston and join your beer gun and drone <laughs> or whatever it is but anyway everybody have a great rest of the week you too bud. Right, bud. oops sorry thank you so much for being here i don't know how that happened thank you so much for being here bud appreciate having you no oh, he's our oh i know why i clicked remove instead of this thing but thank you so much for being here brother i appreciate wait, it wait wait the packers are up seven three if anybody cares that's good. Cheese head. <laughs> and Dominic. Thank you. Oh, I think that's all I can say really at the moment. So, men of few hey, words hey, tonight. Yeah. yeah. Hey, men, a lot of wise men were men of few words. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Dominic. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, I'll be, uh, we'll be testing out throughout the week to test your, uh, yep, you know, no worries. Also. Thank you so much, yep. brother. Appreciate you having okay. me. And the guest of the hour, B Mac Aerial Visuals or Brian Matt. It's Mackie, right? I'm saying that yes. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brian Mackie. Uh, Nightbot's been sharing the link. I hope any, anyone who wasn't already subscribed to subscribe, but I'm going to give you the floor. Say what you want to say, promote what you want to promote. Uh, first of all, Paul, thank you very much for ha having me on. I really, I had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, I, I've kind of taken a break from doing my own live streams. Uh, it's just, I'm retired, so putting myself on a schedule is like work. So I just said, you know, I'm not going to do that for a while. I'll get back to it eventually. But uh, I just like to do what I'm doing now is going out and just flying, racking up 
footage for later on, and I'll post a bunch more stuff. I, I've been kind of remiss on posting things lately, but I'll get to it eventually, you know, and uh, I still try to keep up with everything that's going on in the community. Um, so, and I know this show is one really good way to do it, and there's several others, but, you know, this one the most, because you're, what I like about this, Paul, is you highlight almost everybody, you know, just about everybody, and everybody gets a good shot, you know, of, of some sort of recognition, which is a good thing, so, but uh, yeah. thanks again. Yeah, I appreciate having you here. That's the whole thing that USDS is about. We're about showcasing, you know, all the talent we have, so anyone who posts, it's not... It's it's not almost everyone. It's everyone who posts gets featured if they share a post. I go through them all. Uh, I tr you know comment and like on them all. Sometimes after I've been on there for about six or seven hours, I just like it and scroll on when I'm too far down. But if you post it, I get to it. I see it. And uh, you know if you shared it, uh, I'll make sure to get you in. That's why best of the rest is so big. We had over fifty photos this week because uh, you guys keep posting. I appreciate it. So I appreciate having you here tonight. Uh, thank you so much. I uh, got some interesting thank perspective you. from you tonight. And I think um, Chad Schulze was interested in the answer to the question that I asked you. So I'll be curious to ask him if his uh, if his thoughts aligned with yours on that one. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Brian. I hope you have a nice week. And you're more than welcome to join us anytime. I'll uh, be looking for you this week, Paul. Great guest, Brian. Right, Thanks, Brian. sir. Thank you. Have a great week. All right. And Chris, how you doing? I'm going to give you the floor. Where'd you go? There you go. I think I said it a few minutes earlier. Um, just uh, look it up. Um, I've got a. I'll I'll post it in the link. I got a new video out there. Uh, you know, we're coming closer to like, you know, full blown winter. So um, just to push the vibes up a little bit, I just went and posted one of the uh, Florida videos. You know, to give a little summer vibe because I haven't had, you know, too much fun looking at all these trees and I'm sure you guys are seeing all the trees with no leaves and just want a little bit of uh, remembrance of the summer. So go check that out. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, we are in a holiday season and I know that Jim said early on that November was men's mental health month. Uh, I don't like to think of mental health as having its own month. I think that mental health is important at all times. Um, so not just in November, December, every single month of the year, your mental health is important. And if you're struggling, I urge you to reach out and get help. I have some emergency numbers listed here. If you need to pause the video or you watch the replay, check it out. Dial one of these numbers, get help. You know, if you're in America, dial 988, get some help. Reach out to your friends, your family, your communities, the hospital, fire station, police department. There are so many places you can reach out. You shouldn't have to do it alone. I implore you, reach out. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye, StreamYard. Uh, we will test a new service next week, Community Day. So everybody, you know, make sure you share that content. And, uh, you know, everyone have a great night.
So, uh, Chris, did you hear about the in the invention they have to help us see through walls? No, not yet. Really? They're called windows. <laughs>